my god, you are welcome to Time with Success. It's a beautiful brand new day. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm, mm. I'm so excited. Don't worry, you're wondering why, right? But you will know at the end of the show. All you need to do is stick with me. If this is your first time on the show, like we do it, please click on the subscribe button, like and share. And a day. It's like in some way I see you. Every week has its own issues, but this week is a whole new thing. Like Charlie, you don't have to miss. Please, I'll be right back after this quick break. The name is Avia Success. Okay, so welcome back from that quick break. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that for me. It's very important. And for sponsorship or advertisement, kindly take the number on your screen right now and call us and we will pick up right away. So to my first story, actually this is actually a sensitive issue. It has been the talk of town for a period of time now. And I would like us to discuss maybe after watching the video, but before then, that is the LGBT kill that I'm talking about. Um, there's been a talk in town that people are saying let's legalize it others are against it obviously and there have been a bill that has been passed in parliament for them to decide on it and over the week um cnn interviewed our honorable mp sam george and trust me the interview was i mean everybody knows sam george who doesn't know him he's a controversial man and he, he deals with facts i mean it's something we know about him and the interview didn't go like a very smooth one they got into a heated conversation i would say arguments because they were all talking and all that it was interesting but you know we'll discuss and read some messages from the um comment section after watching this or to a term of imprisonment not less than three years uh, or not more than five years or both so when you talk about 10 years imprisonment for persons engaged in homosexual activities you are misleading the world and that's unfortunate so all right, so you, you think, okay, 10 years is not, is too much, but five years is perfectly fine for somebody who's gay in Ghana to go to jail. Well, well that, is, that, is the, that, that is the punishment for a second degree felony in Ghana. And are the you, activity of homosexuality is a second degree felony. Honorable George, are you just a hateful person who does not want people who are different from you to have a life in Ghana? That is a defeatist approach to ask me a question, a defeatist line of questioning, that I'm a hateful person. If I'm a hateful person, we will not be protecting the rights of persons with LGBTQ and saying that you should not, they have a right. They have a right to a fair trial before the competent court of jurisdiction. Section 22 of our bill prohibits extrajudicial treatment. And you're not highlighting that part. That part is that the prohibition of extrajudicial treatment. A person commits a misdemeanor if that person verbally or physically abuses, assaults or harasses a person A accused of an offense under this act or suffering from any gender or sexual identity. A person who commits a misdemeanor under section one is liable to a fine of not less than 500 penalty units or not more than 1,000 penalty units or a term of imprisonment not less than six months so and more than three years. So you're picking what seems so like if, a positive a angle person, of a larger bill that would make it difficult. Right fair trial. Honorable George, Honorable George, let me ask a question yes. here. You're cherry picking a part of the bill that, a, a much wider bill that would make it difficult for people who are LGBTQ in Ghana to live. What would you do, sir, if your son or daughter was gay? Well, thankfully, I have two sons and a daughter and none of them is gay. That's not the answer. What would you do if one of them was gay? You're asking me to go into the world of abstracts. I'm a, I'm a lawmaker. I deal with specifics. I deal with specific stuff. I don't deal in abstract. Maybe will you should be talking to a storyteller or something. Will you take responsibility if, if, because of this bail, people who are going about their lives are attacked by Ghanaians or are harmed because it's legal to do so or people have been encouraged to do so or are suicidal for that matter Larry, take me, their lives me, because Larry, they can't Larry, live in that society well larry let me answer your question earlier when i was telling you that this year alone as of june this year alone 21 persons had been attacked and killed in the united states where lgbt this rights is about are ghana legal. sir this is about ghana sir so let's focus on if, ghana well well if this is about Ghana, then stop trying to import American values into the reasoning of Ghanaian legislation. I am not an American. I am an African. I'm from Kenya. Well, Kenyan values are not the same as, Amer as Ghanaian values. We have different values. I That's... didn't say into Africa. I said into Ghanaian values. I'm a Ghanaian legislator. And just so you know, I represent 
a community or constituency that has two traditional areas. Before agreeing to push this bill, I met with my two traditional council. I am a representative of the people who voted for me. The people who voted for me, the, the two traditional councils said to me, this is against our culture. The people who voted for you, year. Honorable George, and I have to go, the people who voted for you, of all the problems they have in your constituency, is this the major issue for them? Is this the thing they're most concerned about? Well, this is one of the major issues for them because the government of Ghana in, two, in 2020 spent $200 million subsidizing the cost of antiretroviral drugs for persons who have HIV AIDS. The Ghana AIDS Commission is telling us that men having sex with, with men, MSMs, homosexuals, are leading the surge in, in HIV prevalence in Ghana. Okay, that was the video right there for you. You know, my favorite part of the show was when um, the um, journalist asked uh, Sam George as to what, how you react if his son or daughter was a lesbian. And did you get the answer he gave? He said he deals with facts. And he knows none of them is. And the journalist still asks, what if one of them is? He said, he deals with facts and not uh, assumptions or abstracts. <laughs> hey, you know, actually, I'm waiting for the day that a journalist will actually put this man down. I want someone who will face him with facts. Because he's the type, if you don't have all your information right, he's going to disgrace you. And he has been doing that to most journalists in Ghana. And now, it's, it's over there in the world. All right, so I'll be reading some messages from our YouTube and that is to my first comment. Okay. It says, I'm a lawmaker. I'm a storyteller. That part alone. That was a comment from one of them. And I think it deals, it relates to what I said earlier. He said he's a lawmaker and not a storyteller. Yeah. And the other one was, thank you, George, for educating Larry. Okay, Larry is actually the name of the um, journalist. Yeah, Africa has zero tolerance for gay and lesbianism. Um, Larry, you are asking stupid questions. Charlie, he's like, would you agree? I can't afford the only to me here would be my little cry hole. Someone said, um, I'm a lawmaker. I don't deal in abstracts. Maybe you should ask, you should talk to a storyteller or something. This response is gold. And that is uh, to Sam George. That was some of the answers he gave to the journalist. I mean, to be honest, Larry, you look stupid in this interview. <laughs> to, be, to be sincere with you guys, the comments weren't good for the journalists. It was all in favor for um, Sam George. I mean, he had lots of people you know, congratulating him and they were happy with the fact that he spoke well, going against the LGBT, of course. And Charlie, it makes me wonder if... That is a reason as to why the journalist resigned after the interview. Because there have been reports saying that after the interview, the journalist submitted his resignation. I mean, how true could that be? Could it be because of how the whole thing went or because of the comments maybe he might have read after the show? It's really sad, but then life goes on. Yeah, so that was actually it. We'll be going on our second story, but that will be right after this quick break. Okay, so we are going to our second story, and that is on the Ghana Music Award UK. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's, it's a talk of town. People have watched the show, and it was really, really, like, it was a, a very interesting show. I watched it myself, and I enjoyed the performances of our artists, the likes of Miss Bell, Jackie, um, Medical, and the wife. Hey, Medical and the wife, GA. Hmm. Well, you're very cool. But they have really made the show, let's say. They've taken it to the next level. Yeah, there have been a lot of blogs about them, and it's interesting. It's interesting. So, to the artist of the year, we had Dinah Hamilton. Yes, and we had uncovered artist of the year to be Mona Faro. Say, 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 what? <laughs> yes, songwriter of the year went to Famille, which was Speed Up. That's the title of the song, Speed Up. And he Hip Life or Hip Hop Artist of the Year was Medical. Mumbomi Dimam, no, Mbomi Dimame. Yeah, Medical, Mr. Frimpong. Um, I don't really have much to say about this because I think they were all deserving. They all did well, they worked hard. Mona Foro is indeed one of the um, people, talk of town. Yeah, people went like, you can't, she can't do it. Then she, now she has a, a, her album, which was, um, or is it EP? I think it's an EP, and, she, and it's titled 
here to stay. I mean, she's really here to stay. You can see she's doing well and already she has had her first award and that was Uncovered Artist of the Year. <laughs> Okay, so that was really a, a great performance out there by our top stars, yes. And you can see Medical and the wife, Mr. and Mrs. Frimpo, rocking the stage. I mean, it's good to have a supportive right, right? And I like how her, she is. I like her vibe and everything. I mean, some people really don't like her, but I me, mean, I like her vibe anyway. So kudos to Mrs. Frimpo. And I like the performance of Miss Bell. I like the performance of Mona Farrell. I mean, yo. They did amazing and they are all putting Ghana on the map, so we are proud of them. Yeah, so moving on to our third story. Okay, so then this video, there's a video out there about a guy who went to steal Cyrillac. <laughs> hey, Miss <Mr. Rumpo. laughs> Hey, I'm brand here. Actually, I feel maybe he has a child and he, you know, maybe, you know, Ghana make hard. I mean, can't get quiet to see this and see how you don't have one city or one city person anymore. <laughs> he went to, he has a child and he wants to feed him or her. I just feel, cause they're like dear. And I'm sure, um, cause there have been rumors that he was sent to the police station. I don't know if they've jailed him, but I'm sure definitely maybe they will give him some five years or something. And I don't think it's worth it. Cause they like, and at least I'm talking communal labor crime and commit media man. But well, that's gonna for you. But it was really a, a funny video. Excited to see. Let's check out the video and we will come back. We'll discuss on some of the things. Okay, so that was a video for you. You saw the scene. I mean, it was a, a sad scene, but also something to laugh about. It's funny seeing a man of that age telling her like, Ghana, Ghana do. Um. Um, okay, so my next story is about the reaction or let's say the conversation I had with Ali and his date, which is Shamima, that was last week Thursday, um, on Time with Success, my IG life, yes. And some of the answers Ali gave me or Shamima also gave me based on the questions I gave out, it was really interesting. One was, and I, they, they let's say, brought out some new things that we didn't even know that happened between them. Um, Shemima actually said uh, Ali went for an interview saying that he slept with her. He had an intercourse with her. And it, it never happened. That's not true. That's a false statement. So she made that right clear on my show. Yeah, I should tell you that. Yeah, start to, even though we just started, but Charlie, we are bringing in more fire, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Ali was like, he didn't say that. Like to hurt her or anything. I mean, maybe you're just saying it for the fun. And sometimes the interviews will go on. The presenter, someone like Delay, Zion Felix. I mean, some of the questions they give, if you don't really think, you can just give any answer, thinking it's just for trend, but then it will, at the long run, it will affect you. Yes, so that was it. But then at the end of the show, it was really an interesting one. We had a nice time, and I want to thank them for really coming on the show with me last week. Let's check the video out, and when we come back, we'll continue. Hey, that 
interview with Zion Felix that you said um you went to visit Ali and Ali ran away. Was that true? Okay, he's here. <laughs> Was that true? No, tell was that true that Ali did, did, did she come? Oh my god! No. <laughs> <laughs> He's here, so you have to ask him a lot of questions here. He went to Zion Felix interview. I don't know what he said. Zion Felix interviewed him and he told Zion Felix that he made love to me once and it's a lie. Ali, just be real here. Your fans are here. My fans are here. Your fans are here. Ali, be real. Don't lie. When you lie, my friend, my friend is saying, I'm too much. <laughs> Ali, my friend, Ali. Ali, be real here. So what can you tell me? My friend, I'm too much. Why did you lie that you have something to do with me? Like, it's very bad. It's he's not mine. What's up? No, like, you know, Let's just be real here, Ali. You know, maybe to me, John, throw and go to. I don't know. I don't know. Go soon. Send me my pick your hat. Okay. I don't know. Go try and dress in my pick your hat. Me, me, John, throw. Okay. Success. Success. Okay. Busan, Busan, a question, say. Oh, dear, Busan, a question, say. Say, Mr. Siano, if I see someone threatening me in my GM, say, you have a girlfriend, and I say, you have a boyfriend. Um, Ali, is it true that yes. you went on Zion Felix to say that you chopped uh, Shabiba when you have it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a big lie. Hey, are you sure they want <laughs> Shabiba didn't love me from the start? That's what I think. Or on drumming, or no, she was joking with my heart. <laughs> Ali. Me, I was joking with your heart. I was not joking. You're no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, joking with my heart, man. Don't lie. Oh, Ali, no, I was no, not joking no, with no, your no, heart. No, no, like no, success, success. You know, there are certain things that you can joke with, and there are certain things that you can't joke with, right? For the first place, you like you telling people, everyone on social media that I have something to do with Shamima. It's not nice. You are a lady, you have to be real to me, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think I had the same issue, similar like that, and I didn't like it, so... Yeah. Okay, so that was a video right there for you from Ali and Shamima. It's really an interesting show, and I'm sure you enjoyed it as well as I did, yes. So that being said, guess who I have on the show this week? Ah, it's Dead People! <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this song, um... Otami, Nami Wu, Nami Sam Flexing Gu, so... That's one of the songs I like, and the other one is, um... And you know, Feed Me. And you're not feeding me. Do you feel so you're not feeding me? I mean, this is uh, something we can all relate to in our daily lives. And there are two gentlemen that are really doing well in the industry. I love them. I love their songs. And those two I sang with are one of my favorites. And I love their music videos as well. So I'm having them on the show this week. And I'm sure you are also excited about it. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. If you want to know more about them, and if you have any questions for them, you can share with me by... DMing me or writing under the comment section what you want to hear from them or what you want to ask them and I'll do that for you. Okay, that's been an exciting show doing this with you each and every week. I mean, I'm so excited. I don't like saying goodbye, but I had to say because of time. And see you same time next week. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please do it for me. And like I said, for advertisement or sponsorship, pick up the number right on your screen. Follow us on all our social media platform at Abia Success. And don't forget the name still remains Abia Success. See you in the next week.